Okay, uh, this is the trailer loading lesson. We're gonna start out by showing you uh, how, with, with a horse that will load in the trailer, and, uh, and then we're gonna talk about some of the things you don't wanna do, and, uh, and, the, and the things that a lot of people do that the reason they're having such a hard time. Now, in this exercise, Oh, and I also want to say that we have two other videos that you've got on here, and uh, they're uh, two different horses that didn't want to load in the trailer. So that's the reason we're, we want to show you with one that will, so we can show you how it's supposed to be done. Now, the, the two tools that we're going to use a lot, and the one you've heard me, both of them, you've heard me say this a lot, and that's the half circle and disengaging, okay? All right, now there's gonna be other things too that if, if you have, if your horse is really challenging you from not wanting to go in the trailer, you know, there's gonna be times that you're gonna to need to move his shoulder over to position the horse, to line him up to the trailer. <coughs> and, and uh, you know, there's, all of your all you need to know if you've done your groundwork fundamentals your five zones of resistance then you're going to have this baby you ain't going to have no problem with this at all so hopefully you've done that and i'm sure that you have uh so we're going to start here the you know when when you've got a horse kind of the the ideal of this is is to uh, let the trailer be, we want the trailer to be the resting spot for your horse. And uh, if your horse keeps trying not to, you, you're gonna see in these other two videos how I handle that. But I'm always working with my horse out here and then the closer we get becomes a resting spot. And then when he comes to this certain uh, uh, area and he wants to rest and I done let him rest there maybe a couple times then I'm going to move him up even closer I'm not going to let him rest there the next time we got to come up another step or so closer to the trailer okay all right so <clears throat> the half circle is the exercise that we're going to use to get our horse in the trailer we don't want to lead our horse in the trailer. We want to drive our horse in the trailer. It's going to be so much easier getting your horses in by knowing this exercise, by driving your horses in, because you've got momentum. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll just get closer to the trailer as we get to it. Okay. Now when the horse comes in, I wanna make sure that I've got him lined up to the trailer. And I'm just gonna drive him right in. Of course, Digger didn't have any problem loading, but if your horse, if you're having trouble getting your horse in, you want to come right on in with them. Get on in here with them and, and rub them and, and uh, get them to where they're relaxed and calm. This is really important because some of your horses, when you, when you do get them loaded, uh, probably going to start kicking at the trailer they're going to start really pawing on the floor they could throw their head up hit their head and injure themselves but if you'll come in here and comfort them really quick and then back them back out of the trailer now sometimes uh, you may have a horse that's just not going to back out and we'll go over that here in just a little bit but uh, and if they don't then you know, it's okay. There, there'll be some people tell you to do not walk them out, but it's okay. Go ahead and walk them out and build their confidence up 
and then drive them back in here again. I usually like doing it five, six, maybe seven times. And, uh, and then about that second, third time, then I'm gonna make sure my horse backs up. But I'm gonna show you how to teach your horse to back up also. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna back bigger. Okay, sorry for all the noise, but we didn't have our mat in there. Okay, uh, loading them in a two horse, you're gonna see the video of when, when the horse that I'm trying to load is trying to position himself in an angle to where when I wanna drive him in, he's gonna actually come this way, right in front of me and uh, where he can get away from the trailer. So it's really important, you're gonna see on the video how I have that training stick and I'm gonna be tapping him on that side to move the hindquarters over to yield from that stick, to disengage away from the stick. So uh, that video is really gonna help you because a lot of your horses, I guarantee you, most of the time the horse is, try to, is gonna try to get in an angle where you can't move them into the trailer. Uh, so the two horse, you know, the slant trailers are, are a lot easier to, uh, you know, you just load them and, and put them in their uh, deal and you shouldn't have much problem with it. But the two horse can sometimes be, because it's even, it's even more confined and small, and, uh, but once they get used to it, they'll load into the trailer. You know, it's just really important that make their, you know, to make their experience loading, uh, you know, really simple and easy and not a lot of, don't put a lot of stress on them. So if you get your horse up here and, and you know, he stops right here and he's not getting any closer and let's, let's say that it took a while just to get him this close. Well, I'll probably rub him and pet him and then I'll turn him around and then we'll go back out here and we'll do some half circles. We'll just do, you know, three or four half circles and then I'll back doing half circles to the trailer and then I'll get my horse in the position I need him in and then I'm gonna drive him or attempt to drive him into the trailer. All of this we're gonna go over. You'll see me talking about it in the other two videos. Uh, the other thing, how to back your horse up. You know, sometimes I get calls from people that can't uh, get their horse to back out of the trailer. They can get them in the trailer, but they can't get them to back out. And sometimes they can't even get their horses out of the trailer. And uh, so, one of the worst things we can do is to hold our horses here and try to control the horse uh, as he's backing up. And what, what a lot of people would do is they would just put constant pressure on the horse and they don't ever give the horse any kind of a release. If your horse isn't used to that, then that horse is gonna throw his head up pushing away from that pressure or into the pressure because these are the two tools you're going to have to have to teach your horse to back up. You're going to have to have vertical flexion and then the back up where you just ask and release, bump and release, bump and release, bump. And see when I ask him and when he moves his feet backwards then I release, okay? So that's not gonna get him frightened or scared to where he's gonna to wanna to throw his head up. And also, on your vertical flexion, if you've already done this with your horse, then he's gonna be comfortable lowering his head. And that's gonna get him, that's gonna keep him in that relaxed position. And also, it's gonna get him his mind off of everything else that's going on. His mind is gonna be more focused on you. Okay. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, I hear about people 
uh, taking food in there and hay in there. Uh, you know, there's probably one person out of a thousand that that's worked for. And, and, uh, and most of the time, this is the thing about feed and hay in the trailer. If the horse is really frightened of walking in that trailer, and if he's not starving to death, he's not going in after that hay or feed. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, survival is their number one need. You know, let's talk about the three needs. Survival, comfort, which would be shelter, food, and, uh, and then leadership. But in that circumstance, if he's scared to go into that trailer, the number one thing is survival, and that's gonna overrule the number two of, of food. So, I, I, honestly, in my lifetime, I've never seen that work. And I gotta say, I have tried it many, many years ago. I was in a hurry, and my horse wouldn't load. Actually, it was another person's horse, and, and they just were determined to put feed in there. So I said, well, let's try it, and it didn't work. So uh, it's better to just, when you're at home, practice loading your horse in the trailer. And then that way, uh, you know, and, get you, and, and I would recommend having a training stick if you don't have one, because sometimes you're gonna be in this position asking your horse to go in at the trailer and, uh, and your lead rope may not reach his hindquarters because that's where you need to tap him. And, but that stick will reach just about every time to where you can tap him and get him to move him, okay? And on the stick, I would practice that too, just like you're practicing your backup here before you back him out of the trailer. I'd take that stick and, and tap him. Let me use my lead rope here. I would tap him like that, and once he starts moving, I would stop tapping. Okay, let's see if we can get old Dig to stop. All right, and I want him to go forward. So I'm gonna tap him, and as soon as he goes forward, I stop tapping him, okay? Don't keep tapping him, or it's just gonna kind of desensitize him to that, and, uh, cause he's just gonna think, well, even if I go forward, I must not be doing the right thing. Maybe I need to go backwards and the tap him to stop, okay? All right, cool. Uh, this is, this right here is really gonna help you guys. Don't make it more difficult than what it really is. Uh, the only way that, what, what, when it really gets hard and tough is when you start getting frustrated and thinking that your horse is not gonna load and that your horse is just, just, uh, is just stubborn. And uh, so that's not, you know, that's not the reason. The reason is, uh, like I talked about earlier, it's a survival issue, it's life and death. They go in that trailer, they think there's a possibility that they could lose their life. So just understand that, be, be patient with them. Uh, you know, uh, I tell you, the, the only, sometimes we'll have a horse, uh, this has happened uh, several times, when someone's come to a clinic and it's a, it's a, it's a two or three day clinic, the horse has been there for a while, and he's made some buddies, and, and there's lots of hay for them. Uh, sometimes horses don't wanna leave. And, and we know that the horse knows how to load in the trailer. Uh, he's, he's been loaded a thousand times, but he just wants to stand there and he doesn't wanna leave. So then sometimes when we get them up to the trailer, we might you know increase the tapping a little bit. And, uh, to, to get that horse on into the trailer. But, but that's, you know, that's the only time that I really get a little more firm with them. Uh, uh, but otherwise, you, you, you really have to build that trust and that confidence and that courage out here, build it out here, and the trailer loading won't be a problem at all for you, okay? All right, just, just keep plugging at it and they'll finally go in that trailer, go in there with them, love on them, and, uh, and then just keep loading them back in and they will 
Low for you easily, anytime, anywhere, on down the road.